Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws disclosed in a COVID-19 briefing that six persons have recovered and been released from isolation. These victims were categorized as travel-related after being quarantined and tested on their entry to St. Kitts and Nevis. Speaking at a late April briefing, the CMO gave a breakdown of the COVID-19 statistics as they relate to St. Kitts and Nevis. To date, 293 persons have been sampled and tested with 15 confirmed positive, 271 confirmed negative, and 7 results pending. This afternoon, I want to inform you that six confirmed cases have recovered. I repeat, six confirmed cases have recovered. To date, we have zero deaths. Currently, five persons are quarantined in a government facility, while 55 persons are quarantined at home. Nine persons remain in isolation, while 688 persons have been released from quarantine. Importantly, Dr. Laws took the time to address the critical need to support the body's immune system and outlined several actions one should take. Eat more fruits, vegetables, and leafy greens. Fruits and vegetables contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients which boost the production of cells which support the immune system. Aim to consume at least three servings of fruits and vegetables daily. Number two, get more sleep. While we sleep, our body repairs and builds our immune system to fight off viruses. Aim to get at least six to eight hours of sleep daily. Sunshine increases vitamin D. Our body creates vitamin D from direct sunlight on our skin when we are outdoors. Studies show that vitamin D activates the cells which help to fight infection. Aim to get one to two hours of direct sunlight per day to get your fill of vitamin D. Exposure to sunlight is preferred at the beginning and at the end of each day to minimize the harmful effects of ultraviolet light on your skin. Dr. Laws also reiterated the relevance of addressing one's mental health in order to cope with COVID-19-related environments. Glenn Barth, SKN Newsline.